Good morning, Stampin' Peeps. This is Sarah with StinkingCuteCards.com, and I am popping in live this morning to share a couple of things with you. Um, it is Wednesday, 9.30, so we are doing our Facebook Live. I, I do apologize. We were, I've been away. We've been in uh, Europe, and we've been in Italy and Greece the last couple of weeks, and I honestly, I did get back on um uh, last week, Tuesday, and my dad had asked me on as we were coming. He's like, "You gonna be on Facebook Live tomorrow?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be on Facebook Live." And I must have still been on vacation, jet lagged or something, because I completely forgot that Wednesday I was doing my Facebook Live. And yeah, I had told my dad, "Yeah, definitely." So um, when you pop in here, make sure you give me a little good morning. Good morning, Sue. Good to see you. Uh, <laughs> I hope everything is going well. So. Um, so I've got a couple of real quick housekeeping tools, tips for you, um, housekeeping tools, not really tools, um, housekeeping things for you. And then I've got a real cute little card that we were, we're going to be doing. We did in class this week. Um, I, this week is, um, state fair week and, um, state fair starts this week. And so I'm doing a cute little, um, card with that little cow set, which is just so stinking cute. So, um, let, what do I need to touch base with you on? Um, don't forget that, um, uh, Today is the last day that you can earn bonus bucks. In the month of July, every $50 that you order, you get a coupon for $5 to be used in August. So um, make sure that, um, you know, if you're, there's anything on your list that you need, um, go ahead and check that out. I did send a newsletter out yesterday um, reminding everybody of that. So again, check your inbox. Um, bonus bucks. Uh, let's see. There is also a um, an extra extra. Um, good morning, Barb. An extra extra. Um, good morning, Ruby. An extra extra promotion running right now. If you um, purchase the starter kit in the month um, through the end of August, uh, instead of just the hundred and twenty five, you will have an additional thirty dollars to spend on your starter kit. And again, um, that will entitle you to a twenty to 36% discount on all of your orders. So how cool is that? Good time to become, um, to purchase a starter kit and start saving some, some um, cabbage, as the kids would say. Let's see, what else? Um, mark your calendars for, oh, I forgot my day planner. I, I worked last night, so <laughs> I'm a little, I have only had one cup of coffee and I should have probably, you know, had a few more. Um, let's see, mark your calendars for the, I believe it's October 12th. Um, that is our next stamp camp. That's coming up quick. Um, mark your calendars for, uh, it's the third weekend in August here. It's the Friday and Saturday. I'm doing my holiday catalog kickoff. Um, don't quote me on these days. If anybody's got a calendar, I believe it's August 15th and 16th, but grab a calendar and let me know if I'm right or not. Um, it's a Friday and Saturday. I am going to do my catalog kickoff. Um, hey, good morning, Hillary. Um, good to see you. Um, I'm going to do my catalog kickoff here at the house and, and as well as I am cleaning out that garage. And so one of the things that we are going to do is I am going to line my porch with tables and I am pulling out all of the rummage and I am slashing prices. It's 50% off the ticketed price of anything that's on those tables out on, on, the, on the porch. So Mark your calendars. It's going to be fun. Um, you'll be able to, you know, check out some of the new stuff in the holiday catalog. We got a boatload of stuff from the um, from Stampin' Up on the on the trip, so I've got a lot of things to play with, and there'll be some great deals out there. So I'm cleaning the garage. I need to reclaim my um, reclaim my garage space before the snow flies. So I've still got <laughs> stuff from the wedding on in there, and so um, I am motivated. So let's see, those are the big things. Um, I've got class coming up, check out those kind of things. Hey, Tanya, how are you? It's good to see you. Is that you are, I guess it's late in the day for you. Good to see ya. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna flip you around. We're gonna do that cute little um, party till the cows come home card that we did in class today and um, we'll get some stamping done here. All right, let's see if I can do this without breaking anything or, okay, there we go. All right, let's see if, woohoo, stay still. I've got, I've got a lot of things on my desk today to um, get done. I have to do my August in color things with this stamp set. Got to work again tonight, so. All right, but anyways, this is the cute little card. Um, oh, hey, that's not bad. Time for supper. This is the party till the cows come home. Um, my grandfather was a farmer, and so he had Holstein cows. And so this is kind of one of those cards that is dear to my heart because it's, you know, it was, you know, grandpa's Holstein. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um, 
again, um, we did this because state fair starts this week and it's kind of one of the traditions at our house is that we have to spend at least one day at the state fair and you have to have the same food. You have to get a cream puff. You have to have the roasted corn. You have to have the pork sandwich. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's just things you have to be done. So this is a real simple little card. I got a couple of things to tell you about it. Um, we're using the Poppy Parade, which is a fun color. Um, and we are going to stamp our wonderful little cow. He's so, she's so cute. All right, we're gonna ink her up in the memento here and stamp, can you guys all see that? Am I too far down? Let me see. I gotta make sure I can. you guys can see that. All right, cute little cow, love it. I'm using the blends um, on this baby because she's just so sweet. I'm gonna use the, let's see, I'm gonna use the light Poppy Parade to color in. So I should probably have, you guys probably don't want to watch me color, but let's let's show you how fast this goes together. And blends work great because you can get some color fast and it looks like you really know what you're doing and you don't have to. Um, when I use my blends, I know you guys, probably, I, I do the dark on one of the edges. I'm, I'm a person that likes to do the dark first and then come back and shade the edges with the light. I'm um, softening those, let's see. Yeah, sometimes I'll kind of do a circle motion. Okay. You can see how it just fades those colors out. All right. We need some hooves. I could tell you um, about some of the fun things we did in, um, in Greece and Italy while we were here. We did do a, um, a fun, we did three days of, of rides and one of the rides was over to a place where they um, made buffalo mozzarella. So that was pretty cool. It was a long, a long day in the saddle though. So I was like, ooh, got to get off and have um, gelato, which was quite lovely. I know, isn't that, isn't that the best time to go for a horseback ride is so that you could go and have gelato? I mean, what's not to love about that? So, okay. Color in your sweet little Elsie's face. It's not what they always called the, the cow on TV. Color her in here like this. I have a fun trick to show you with the, um, with the framelits here. Okay. So Elsie is colored in. That did not take that long, right? I mean, it was pretty cool. Oops, I forgot leaves. Hey, did you know, um, for those of you, I, I sent this out in my newsletter yesterday, but... Um, for those of you that absolutely loved um, Lemon Lime Twist, and I'm one of those persons that love, loves Lemon Lime Twist, um, I, got a, I got a blender pack for you. If you use the Granny Apple Green Light and the Pineapple Punch Dark, it makes Lemon Lime Twist blends. Who knew? Isn't that cool? Fun little tip for today. So we are going to attach that and add it to our Daffodil Delight. <clears throat> Pop that off. Now, Pinewood Planks. This is one of the um, the new, um, the old existing uh, 3D embossing folders. And um, if you have been with us forever, like most of you have, um, we have disassociated ourselves with the Big Shot um, with Sizzix and um, are no longer carrying the Big Shot. Um, not quite sure all the, the reasons why, but it, I guess that's not the important thing. Um, the important thing is, is in the future, we are going to be going to get a new em, uh, embossing die cutting machine. And the, the nice part about Stampin' Up! is that they have considered us and, you know, it's not that we have to get a new one to be able to use all of the existing and going forward, um, we have an adapter plate. This is in the catalog now. And what it is meant to do is if you are going to, uh, I'm, I'm making a mess of this. So any going forward, any of the embossing folders are going to be a little thinner. Um, and just in the thinner in the, um, uh, I, I, I'm making a mess of this. They're just going to be a little thinner period. So Stampin' Up! has given us another plate that you so that you can use the things going forward in your existing machine. Does that make sense? So you don't have to buy a new machine. You can just buy this plate and um, all of the folders, the 3D folders going forward will work with your existing Big Shot. 
I, I hope that's that's clear. I haven't made a mess of it. So this is um, something that is available now and um, works fabulously. Um, so any of the new, any folders, the 3D folders that you purchase going forward are gonna need to have this plate if you choose to use them with your Big Shot. I think that's probably what I meant to say. So um, the Pinewood Planks was on a hold status just until recently, but it is back in stock and it's got the new, um, so if you haven't don't have that Pinewood Planks, go ahead and make sure that you um, get that because that is a fun one. So I thought it looked a little bit like barn doors and so I've run it through the folder and um, of course our barn is gray because it needs paint. But at the same time, I'm not really sure that I want to paint it because it looks really cool um, gray. I don't know. It's one of those things. We have to decide one of these days what we're going to do with that barn. So, oops, it's crooked. Ah! Slow down. Have more coffee and slow down. Okay, so we've got just the, um, the gingham. I was using up some of my gingham from um, the spring catalog at class, so I wanted to make sure. Oh, duh. I want to uh, do the... Two dimensionals on this puppy. All right. All right. So. All right. There is the start of our card. Isn't it stinking cute? Um, we are gonna add some more dimensionals. So do you like my, my manicure? Um, before I left for uh, to the trip, I had went and got a, a, a manicure and they did the new, the new dip. I don't know if you've ever done those, but I have a hard time keeping a manicure looking decent for ever because I'm using my hands a lot, both at work and in the garden. And even if I use gloves, they, you know, the, the manicure just falls apart. Well, I got these dips and literally they, they last forever, but, but there was a slight learning curve. I was trying to do a video before I left um, for my, uh, my in color club. I couldn't pick anything up. I couldn't take dimensional tips off. It was like, finally, I was like, screw it. I'm not doing it. I'm, it's, it's bad. I'm not doing anything here. So I just, I did learn how to use um, my my new nails while I was in Europe, and I'm, I'm much happier. So um, I digress. Okay, so um, I have a little trip, tip to show you. And um, of course, wouldn't you know, the dye is not in here. Ah! Nothing ever goes right. Here it is. This is the rectangle die that is with the, um, the Big Shot. And I am going to cut this out, but you'll notice that mine is a lot smaller. So let me just show you a quick little tip. This is your little trick today on how to adapt your, look at these, look at these full, uh, these plates. I was having withdrawals to uh, Ruby withdrawals from gelato. <laughs> it was we had, I, one. There was one day. Um, so in 24 hours, I had five gelatos. Uh, they're reasonable and they're refreshing. And you know, I don't get them here, so I made sure that I had plenty of them while I was there. Oh, my my party till the cows come home is a little crooked, but okay. Do you see how that is big? Now watch. If I take this, can you see that? and go ahead and line this baby back up like that, see that? Hey Tammy, good to see you too. I can run this back through and look, I have a small square. Ha, ah, isn't that cool? So that is one way to use your um, your stitched rectangles in a whole new manner. You can get, you know, make them smaller or square or, you know, do whatever you want. So, ta-da! I thought you would like that. So we're gonna add party till the cows come home here. Add one dimensional. Isn't this just the cutest little card? So party till the cows come home. And I'm gonna be sending this out to one of you that either comments on this video, shares this video, likes this video. So somebody is going to get this cute little card in the mail. All right. So I have taken that small new daisy punch that we have because, you know, what cows don't need extra flowers. Party till the cows come home. We're going to add a sweet little, I used the half inch circle, add that to our daisy. I'm going to add a, um, oh, of course, here we go. Add a little bow here. 
I can use the bow maker. I don't know. Maybe I should demonstrate the bow maker one of these days again because that is really slick for those of you that don't um, are a little bow challenged. Um, that thing works really slick. Um, I just, you know, to make a bow, all you need to do is just make your two little ears and wrap it around. But the bow maker works really well too. So add a little glue dot here. Doot, 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 doot. Looks like, there we go. <laughs> You're going to get these cows, Ruby. You know it because they're so stinking cute. Hold on a second and I'll show you a, ca a card that we're going to do um, later uh, this month. It was a car card that I got in a swap and this is going to you know, put you over the top, I promise. Okay, so we just want to add a little thought bubble with a heart and then, isn't that cute? Okay, watch. And so then I, um, in the kit it's got your utterly fantastic or not in the kit in the stamp set but i also pulled um the uh happy birthday you sweet thing because i just thought that turned out would be so cute so stinking cute so that will be the inside your utterly fantastic happy birthday you sweet thing isn't that stinking cute now hold on hold that thought for two seconds but ruby i'm gonna push you over the edge all right. So as demonstrators, a lot of times we get together and do swaps. And so what I would do is I design, you know, like say 10 of these and swap them with other people. So I had done a swap. Okay, Ruby, this is the card that's going to make you buy this cow set. And you know, if you order it today, you can, you know, stock up on bonus bucks. Okay, ready? Here's to celebrating you. It opens up dream big. So it's a little fun fold. Isn't that cute? We're going to be doing this card in September because it's just so stinking cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I got quite a few other ones in the swap too that it's just so sweet. I love this little cow. I know we did it at um, for our retreat a couple weeks ago and um, it's so cute. You got to get this cow set. So anyways, what else can I tell you? Don't forget... Um, Today is the last day to use this hostess code. Um, if you are placing an order, you can use that hostess code and um, be entered in the gift certificate drawing. I'm going to be changing my reward program up a little bit coming here shortly, and um, it's going to be fun. So stay tuned. Um, I, like I said, if you didn't get, get your, check your inbox, because I did send a newsletter out yesterday with some of the classes and things coming up. Um, but that, oh, and I have to uh, send out holiday catalogs. So that's one of the things that's on my list today, too. So. Thanks again for stamp stamping with me and joining along. I will chat with you next week and stay tuned. Hugs. Thanks. Toodles.